Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum and good evening and welcome to this debate. The motion for debate today is a playing video game harmful. As we know, video game are an electronic game in which player control image on video screen. For example, PUBG, Mobile Legends and Car Multiplayer. We strongly believe that video games will bring negative impact to the people who edited with it. But before we come to our actual argumentation, let me introduce our government for today, Ms. Nurul Atika binti Yusuf. Speaking for Her Majesty Lawyer Opposition will be Mr. Arif Fakrul bin Ar Saad as the first speaker with partner Mr. Muhammad Muzambe bin Elmi, and I, Ms. Sabrina binti Mande as a moderator for today's debates. On behalf of the House, I extend a special welcome to our Judge and Chief Nick Ahmad Farhan bin Azim and Ayas Nick Azim, Director of Center for Language Studies and Engineering Development. So, if both panel are ready, can we start our debates now? Thank you, Ms. Moderator. So, based on the title that we are going to discuss about, I am strongly agree with the statement that playing video games can bring negative effect to people, especially the youngsters. I think that video games bring more harm than good. First, video games can make ones become violent. Studies have shown that playing video games can increase aggressiveness thoughts, behavior, and feelings in both in the short term and long term. This is because most of the children can't differentiate between right and wrong, and they tend to copy what they see and put it into practice. Violent video games can also desensitize people to seeing aggressive nerve behavior and decrease the important feelings such as helping another person and feeling empathy, which this feeling should be nurtured within a person since they were young. Uh, allow me to interrupt your point, Miss Atika. Yes, sure. Carry on. Thank you. Uh, from my perspective, I think that uh, playing video game has its own benefits and positive effect also. I strongly disagree that playing video game only bring negative effects to people as what Ms. Atika said just now. Sometimes playing video games may help people avoid depression. People who felt depressed or in a state of constant sickness, stress or anxiety can be in a peace and calm while playing video games. Let's consider this in a more detail. People who are clinically depressed lack the physical energy to engage with ordinary everyday tasks. They are overwhelmingly pessimistic, particularly about their own capabilities, and they experience distinct absence of positive emotion. Through a study by a psychologist, uh, Brian Sutter Smith found that people are more confident, energetic, and emotionally positive when they play video games. When a person plays the video games, two parts of their brain are in a constant state of stimulation. In other words, uh, when a person depressed, those two parts of brain shrink. For example, people with uh, depression symptom like lack of energy, feeling helpless, or pessimistic view of life, uh, they will play video game. Uh, to try to satisfy their needs and to motivate themselves when they knew they can complete the game. Uh, subsequently, make them happy and can accomplish something in their life. And for the some reason, uh, gaming also uh, stimulate your brains, which can avoid the negative talk that can uh, lead to depression. But Mr. Muzame, somehow playing video games tend to bring wrong values among youth. Many video games in the market contain excessive violence, over-the-top sexuality, profanity, racism, and many other things that can be perceived by the kids in the right manner. To make it worse, these video games can be downloaded for free. They may fail to take this, this depiction with a pinch of salt and may end up trying to emulate the same behavior as portrayed in the game. For example, games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, and Manhunt were more likely to exhibit the behavior such as being sent to the principal office for fighting or not hitting a non-family member as killing, kicking, stabbing and shooting is what mostly happened in the game. Excuse me for interrupting, but may I take a hold on your point of view, Miss Atika? Sure. From what I just heard, I do agree on what Uzamir just pointed out. Depression can be avoided when people play video games. 
When playing video games, your brain are constantly being used and the negative thought will be shunned out from your brain for a while during play times. For your information, video games will with specific genre, genre like real-time strategy and multiplayer on a better arena can improve our situational awareness and strategy planning. Video games that involve highly on strategy wants the player to be aware of enemy movement and action and their own must pro predict it at a short period of time. Sometimes you cannot predict the enemy. For more generous, you need to optimize your item build, predicting the character's petting in the unseen area and change your playstyle or strategy to tackle the upcoming attack from the enemy. Strategy games will wreck one's brain to be more proactive and alert to sudden change in surrounding areas, which can be implemented in our daily lives. This can lead uh, to what as Mr. Muzami pointed out, as playing with, as playing strategy games successfully can satisfy themselves as they felt they earned the victory themselves. Hence, depression level can be lowered down. Uh, excuse me, uh, I would like to add some point based on what Mr. Aris said just now. In addition, in this sophisticated and modern age, if viewed from other side as well, we can see that uh, play video games uh, also make people become more adept to modern technology. As we can see, video games nowadays use the latest technology in the modern era. To give you an example, visual reality VR and augmented reality AR are something that fascinate the modern modern people as we can play games like we are in the game itself and make the real world our playground. Moreover, uh, mobile, go mobile gaming also have become more advanced with the constant upgrades of our smartphones have become from the old age of button pushing style. So better component means better performance when playing using phones. Also, we can play wherever we go. Thank you. This issue seems getting hot. I would like to ask a few questions for board panel. Video games can lead the gambling ad addiction and money wasting. People said that game include the loot box system can cause the addiction. The second statement is about video games that cannot finish by people consider as money wasted. Are both statement true or if not, then can you explicate on why it was not the case? Miss Moderator, even though some games have the controversial practices of loot boxes, it does not mean that the players are obliged to use it. Usually, games that involve in this kind of system are usually the free-to-play one that need to make quick bucks from the players and the in-game items are not guaranteed to get. As one who have persevered the urge to spend money on the luck-based system, I, re I rather spend my money on something that are guaranteed to get and surprisingly, this type of games has that. In short, it depends on the players itself whether they want to spend on the loot boxes system or not as long as they are happy with what they got. For the money wasting issues, they can just play the games whenever they have free time to play it. Besides, people will check the games first via internet and review before they buy the game. Usually, they want to play the game without the stress of the real world and spending for video games can be symbolized as the freedom they wanted as they can choose what game they want. Pay your dues, as one would say. In this case, their hard work in real life will be rewarded with video games they buy. They also can play at their own pace and ignore whatever other people criticize their playstyle for. Thank you for your answer, Mr. Arif. Edited playing video games can cause health issues. My question is that too, and there are any specific health issues, Ms. Atika? Thank you for the question given by the moderator. My answer for the question is yes. Playing video games can cause ones to face health issues. Some youths tend to spend most of their time sitting and playing video games without engaging in physical activities like sport. Youth tend to feed on junk food and while playing video games, they didn't realize that they have consumed more than they should have. Thus, because of the lack of activities, they can get obese, weaken the muscle and joints, make hand and finger dumb, dumb numb, Due to overexertion and multiple studies suggest that it can even weaken the eyesight. That's my answer. Thank you. 
Thank you for your answer, Miss Atika. Ladies and gentlemen, our discussion is nearing to the end. To summarize today's topic, I would like to give my point of view. As we can see just now, playing video game has a positive and negative impact on individual life. An individual with continuous exposed to game may become obsessed and get affected by life-threatening disease over a time of over a period of time. Obesity is a modern day scourge for the people and cause more harm than good in a long term. It's because they rarely doing physical exercise such as jogging and cycling and active consume eating junk food. In addition, with continuous exposure to the screen, the user might face an infection in the eyes. But somehow, playing video game can distract adults from consistently feeling stressed. For example, playing PUBG and ML can hurt people in distress. This is because by competing in video game, they can lash out their anger. However, in a check perspective, the excessive amount of time spent by children can affect their life as well. The children will be undisciplined and hard to listen to what their parents ask for. But, this issue can be controlled if parents will implement a radical regime, of, regime to discipline their children. For example, parents must limit the children exposed to the video game per day. That's all for today. Thank you.